Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video for Game Week 9 where I show you my plans and the transfers I've done. But before that, let's see who did well in Game Week 8 and how I'm stacking up against other content creators. Top scorer in our mini league was Vlado Stanek with Jesse Salastamer with 72 points, which was very good considering what a low scoring week it was. That was with Captain Salah 24, which is a higher score than a lot of managers actually got for their whole week. And then we had Guardiola 10, Martinez 8, Sun 8, Wood 7, Rogers 6, and Dunk on the bench for 6. The, our leader is Louis Philippe with Red 74. They managed 61 points. That was with Captain Salah 24, Guardiola 10, Wood 7, Vardy 6, Flecken 4, and then nothing on the bench. As for me, I'm all the way down in 387th. I got 40 points. And I got returned, little returns from Jackson, Watkins, McNeil and Rogers, And then nothing on my bench. So 40 points game week rank was around the 4 million mark. So my second green arrow in the last six weeks and actually my second of the season. But that's okay because as you know, I've been focusing on getting the money rather than the points. But I'm now in the process of gradually getting my team sorted out so I can get the points. So I'm halfway between the 3 million, 4 million rank and I'm 185 from top spot. So if I can outscore the leader by seven points a week between now and the end of the season, I can still win the whole thing, which is reasonable, I think. Thank you very much to everyone who watches these videos. It's very much appreciated. And those of you that leave comments and likes and subscribes, but it's the watching that's the main thing. So the FPL Game Week website, if you go there, you can look at the Content Creators League. And my team value at the start of Game Week 8 was 103.2 million. And the average content creator was 101.7. So that's one and a half million better off than they were. My score is currently 447. Theirs is basically 480. So I'm 33 points behind them, but one and a half million better off. So I'm optimistic, reasonably optimistic, I think, that my extra money is going to help me gradually chip away at the points. So the content creators league, currently FPL tips are top with 555. And then good old James from Planet FPL, excellent podcast, totally worth listening to. He's 551. And then in third place currently is FPL Olympian. I'm all the way down in 62nd, which is one point behind Yelena, who does a brilliant vlog series where you can see her emotions every week. That's great. And she's three points above FPL Salah. And then I'm two points behind Sir Tap and four points behind Gianni. So I've made two transfers so far this game week. One free and one cost me four points. I brought in Saka last game week so I've been doing all my transfers early because that was with the money. But it's at risk of the players you bring in are going to be injured by the time you're at the weekend. He didn't play. He was injured. So I had no spare money but I wanted to bring in Palmer. So I had to fund that. And to do that I sold Jackson and brought in Raul Jimenez. And I think I'm comfortable with that over the next few weeks. Hopefully the Two on the right will outscore the two on the left. So the way my 11 are lining up at the moment, I've got Haaland as captain. He gets to wear the old mule hat with his mate Edison and Lewis at the back. They're at home to Southampton. I bought Edison game week two and so far I've had no clean sheets from him. So that's, that's been a lot of expensive fun there. I've got Palmer as vice captain at home to Newcastle. I've got Rogers at home to Bournemouth with his mate Watkins. I've got Embremo at home to Ipswich. And then Gabriel's at home against Trent. And I've got McNeil at home against Raul Jimenez. So I think the team looks all right. Um, let's hope I get a little green, but I have already spent four points. So I need to work a little bit harder than normal to get those points. And then on my bench, I've got Ramsdale, who interesting in the last few weeks, he's had no clean sheets, but he has been outscoring Edison because he does get save points. And then Smithrow, Van der Ven and Bednarek. So I'm very happy for none of those to come on this week. I used my bench boost weeks ago, but if I didn't, I definitely wouldn't be using it this week. As for the background picture, it is, of course, autumn. And all the leaves falling down, those fallen leaves are very good for bugs and frogs and whatever else to hibernate in or just play, play a game of football in. 
So if any of you guys out there or girls get nagged by your other half or maybe your mum to go and rake up the leaves, just say, look, it's, it's better for nature to leave it as it is. That's what I do. That's how I get away with it anyway. So there we have it. That's what happened in Game Week 8 and the transfers I've made for Game Week 9. I hope you have a good Game Week 9 and I think this could be a high scoring Game Week on average because there's lots of players with decent fixtures. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.